we'll start with your pick of the week, um, a company that is, in terms of business, uh, doing very, very well right now, specifically because uh, Q4, the holiday season, everybody's spending money, everybody's uh, running ads. And so your pick of the week this week is Meta, ticker symbol M-E-T-A. And your note here is that you're legging into an iron condor is is that some sort of a bird (laughs) where's the condor coming from so an iron condor is a option strategy let me just go ahead i'm gonna switch over my um indicator this is the free indicator by the way that uh, anybody can get a hold of you just have to get an account at our uh, web portal and that's free so just sign up for an account then you can download this indicator And I've got it actually applied to this chart twice because you can configure this indicator uh, in many different ways. So my one way that I've got it configured is to help me identify what's happening in the broad market. And the other way I have it is to give me buy and sell signals, end of day buy and sell signals on sideways channeling stuff. You could even use this indicator. I saw some people using it uh, the other day for swing trading. So I've kind of just tweaked it so that it's giving me now end of day buy and sell signals for premium positions. Uh, An iron condor is a range bound strategy that's actually made of two vertical credit spreads. So we were just talking about vertical credit spreads or vertical spreads. The iron condor is specifically made up of two vertical credit spreads Um, and it creates a range bound strategy, very similar to our premium selling strategy that um, we use on lower price symbols. Uh, And by legging into it, it means that I'm not putting all four option trades. I'm not putting both credit spreads on exactly the same time. I'm placing one credit spread on the top. And then when the timing's right, I press place, place the bottom one. And then I'm constantly rolling out of the two vertical spreads throughout the lifetime of the position, right? And so we just recently placed the top um, credit spread on because we got this signal. We first got a signal, as you can see here, on November 21st. Now, these are end of day signals, so you can't trade them when you get them. You notice them when you come in at the end of the day after the market's closed. You're like, oh, I should be looking at this tomorrow. And when we looked at it the next day, We did not get the trading follow through that we were looking for. So we didn't open that position. And at the end of that day, guess what? We got a signal that said, hey, stop looking. Uh, We know that you didn't get your fill today, but don't look anymore. I'm reversing that signal. You could see that right here with this pink arrow followed by the blue arrow. So we didn't look the next day, but guess what? At the end of the next day, we're now up to November 24th, we got another signal that at the end of the day that said, hey, try to trade this the next day. And we did, and we got our, our, our vertical spread set. So this would be what we call a bear call vertical credit spread. So we got credit up front, and we're hoping that this thing expires worthless. And again, sized it very small sized it so that it was 2% of our portfolio. We used a 340, I believe it was a 340, 350. Um, that Those were the two strike prices that we used. And so long as we stay below 340, this thing's going to wind up profiting by December 15th, which is the expiration of it. So now we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. And when we get our next bottom signal, we'll apply the bottom credit spread and go from there. But this is a great one for doing those credit spreads at the reversals. But just make sure you size that position uh, just right. And and I'm assuming the uh, this is a very liquid contract, right? Meta's probably Mm. got to be one of the the more more popular ones uh, on the market. Yeah, I'm pulling up the option chain right now. I, I got to say something and I don't, I'm not sponsored by any brokers. In fact, at Trading Trainer, we've always tried to be very much broker agnostic so that people can get our education and then use whatever broker they want. But uh, just recently, Charles Schwab uh, took over Thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade. 
And they didn't take it over from TD Ameritrade. They took over TD Ameritrade, and along with it came Thinkorswim. And um, they just recently switched the technology behind, and they broke a bunch of stuff. Uh, and they'll, mm-hmm. if you you contact the support people at Thinkorswim, they'll tell you known issues of of what's going on. But a lot of the options stuff is broken, and uh, I hope that they re- remedy this in the next month or two because it's a real pain in the tuchus. But uh, as you can see here, we're looking at the same strike price, December fifteenth. Um, and, and you'll notice over here that we've got the, uh, I said strike price, I meant expiration date. You got the strike prices down the center here. So when we get down to that, uh, what, what did I say? 340, 350. Yes, exactly. When you look at the 340, 350, currently the 340, 350, um, is going for something around, uh, you take dollar 61 and you subtract out uh, 59 cents, it's going for a dollar, right? Roughly, roughly a dollar right now. And that's profit that you get up front. So that's a dollar that you get right now. And then as this thing goes through its life to December 15, so long as the price of Meta stays below 340, that'll shrink down so that at the end of the trade, you won't have to ever pay any of that dollar back. So you get the credit up front and then you you expect for it to expire worthless. But do know that with every credit spread, uh, in order to get that credit up front, your broker is going to say, well, what's the worst case scenario? And let's make sure while the trade is still happening that you have, it's called a margin requirement, that you have money in your account to cover the worst case scenario. In this case, if the stock price goes above 350, you'll be on the line for $9, right? So you got to collect a dollar up front, but if it goes above 350, you're going to have to give that dollar back and you're going to have to take out of your pocket $9, right? And so Even though people think credit spreads are like free money, don't forget your broker is going to look at your bank account and for every option share that you do, they're going to put a hold on 900 bucks. And until you close this position and say, no, it's all closed, you can release that funds, they're going to lock that money up. It's called a margin requirement. So the initial investment that you want to calculate into this trade is that 900 bucks per contract, right? So 900 bucks of risk, but if the trade goes your way, you get a hundred bucks. So that's actually pretty good. If you invest 900 bucks and at the end of two weeks, because in December 15th is about two weeks from now, at the end of two weeks, you get a hundred bucks of profit. I mean, that's more than 10%. 